How we trim our sycamore trees at Highland Hill Farm. My name is Mike. I'm at Highland Hill Farm and I was trimming sycamore trees. This is an exclamation sycamore. I like trimming sycamores during the winter time. I believe it's the only time of the year you should be trimming a sycamore. Unless of course you're doing a big tree and you're doing structural pruning. But if you're doing a trim tree to get it in a shape or size or how you want it to look, winter is the best time to do it. The general rule for all broadleaves, regardless of what it is, now maybe you can have exceptions for like willows and birch, but for predominantly all broadleaves, the rule is, is if you prune it during the summertime, you create stunting. If you prune it during the winter, you create invigoration. So that's why I love pruning during the winter time. I always like seeing the results of it later. But anyway, this is a, a sycamore. I did prune it last year, but I can't really see that well where the marks are. I can see the one mark up there, and that's the only thing I can really prove of me saying I pr uh, pruned it. And that's the best type of pruning where you can't tell where you actually pruned or not. Next year you can't see where you pruned it at. But anyway, this is our sycamore. See, I took off a little bit right there, but that's not even barely noticeable. You can see I took that off. But now we have to go back through. We're going to take these little suckers off. And we're going to go down. Of course, we're using the blade side towards the tree and the anvil side away from the tree. That's the best way to prune. That's a, a very common mistake a lot of people make. But you prune it like that. And you go through and you just take off the suckers off of it. Now, I don't believe I'm going to do very much more to this because I kind of like the shape of it. I like the branching at my breast height. That's what I shoot for the branching. If you wanted something like this tree over here, this branching is a little bit low. So if you wanted to, we we're going to prune that one. You could take that off. But other than that, the, most, the rest of it looks really good. Exclamations are known for being very, very straight. That's why you don't see any stakes on them. If there were like straight species American sycamore, you would definitely have to stake it. But exclamations, I really like exclama exclamations. That's going to be what we're going to be growing probably for now on. And I don't like that branch right there. That's a big branch, so we're going to take that branch off. It's a little bit higher than I like for the rest of them, but that branch, if you want to walk over here, I don't like how that branch is attached to the tree. So taking that off, I think, is a better, better for the tree long term. And uh, we're going to go down through here and take some more of the suckers off. And I don't see, when I look at this, I don't see anything that's standing out that's saying, like, I really want to remove. Mm. Because I think we're going to probably dig this guy in the fall, not the spring, probably dig this in the fall. And if I was going home and planting in my place, I would probably go through and take some of these branches off. Because there is a lot of branching to it. But when you sell a tree, you kind of need the tree to be thick and full when it's young. But as it gets older, you need to take some of those branching off. But for right now, this is probably all that I'm going to do for this tree. It's, I think it's a fairly decent tree, and we'll probably be digging it in the fall. Okay, and thank you very much, Mike. And if people have questions about trimming their trees or shrubs, they can call you at? Uh, my cell phone number is 267-446-2376. Okay, thank you very much, Mike. Thank you.